All right, folks, today we've got a couple of rather unusual engagements. Uh, two rounds against the Harrier. We've got the first round, which will be Fox 2s, and the final round, which will be guns only. So, uh, let's give it a shot. Okay, he's right over there. There he is. I'm expecting we're going to win this, like, both rounds, unless he does some fancy thrust vectoring stuff. Where is he? I have no idea where he's gone. He's got no radar as well, so I don't know where he is on the RWR. Oh, I've lost them already. Oh, he's right there. Okay. What is he doing? Is he even dogfighting or is he just running away from us? Got no idea. Okay, I'm just going to shoot on him now. There's Fox 2. Let's see. Got him. That was... I was expecting it to be over a bit quicker. I guess he did some, like, fancy evasive stuff knowing that he was... Oh, shut up! <laughs> knowing that I was in a, a superior dogfighter. That... I don't think that's happened yet in this series. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the tack view. See how that went. Alright folks, so here we are in TAC view for the FOX2 round against the AV-8B Harrier. Let's have a look. So basically as soon as we started he decided to bank to the right. And then off the left and just keep going straight. Then he flared like mad. That's cool. Flared like mad, ducked out down there. I, I've lost sight of him, I had no idea where he was at this point. Because that's so unusual. Usually, like all the other aircraft that we've fought, they don't switch and go back the other way. They keep turning around this way, but that's, that's really cool. And then, because I don't know where he is, I just decided, well, I know he's got aim nines, so I would flare just in case he, he's gone somewhere, done some thrust vectoring stuff or whatever, and got into a position to lock a missile on. He's only pulling... Actually, I'll put these on. So, he's only pulling 2G. He's doing Mach 0.7. We're doing about the same speed. Okay, so he goes, he goes down. Okay. And then around, oh yeah, I see him. I see him there, get an electro-optical lock, fire on him, and he's dead. Anyway, uh, on to the final round. All right, folks, it's time for the final round, which is a guns only. What did he just drop off? I don't know. Okay, so he's... He's not fighting us by the looks of it. If he refuses to fight, then that's a... Hang on a minute. No, he's still in somewhere. I'm actually going to have to use the radar for this, I guess. Maybe he's going off... Oh, no, he's, he's turning around. He's right there. I got him. Okay. Now, the Harrier's uh, the Harrier's gun can be used in air-to-air. -air. I was just going. Is he just going to go in and land? Is this our first refuse to fight? It doesn't look like it. He's come around pretty quick by the looks of it now. Okay, he's flaring, so he's still in the fight. Oh no, we're overshooting. We're going way too fast here. Where is he? He's back. There he is, okay. We're gonna go up and over. He's definitely not turn fighting us, but we'll confirm that in the... Uh... Where's he go? I lose sight of him. I've got no idea where he is. This might be the first AI refuse to fight. It might be. In which case, we'll just put an X on the... Uh... on the scoreboard. Oh, he's over there somewhere. There he is. Okay. Slow down. Overgy, 
Very, very powerful little engine that uh, Harry has got. But he just, he's not fighting us. He's not trying to get on our tail. I guess AI is not programmed to do that. Okay, let's see. Let's see, can I, can I get him with the guns here? Maybe, I don't know. Come on. Okay, he's definitely trying to evade us, rather obviously. But not get on our tail. He doesn't seem to care at all about that. There we go. And he bailed out. Okay, so... That was the first AI refused to fight. He refused to get on our tail. He, he was definitely going evasive, and you know that's what you probably should do if you're in a harrier and you come up against a, a flanker. You should try and get out of there, which he was doing. So credit to him. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the tack view, analyze what happened, and uh, confirm once and for all if that was our first AI refused to fight. All right, folks, here's the tack view for that recent mission. Let's see what happened. So something dropped off him there. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, we turn around to engage. We get him on lock. Okay, yeah, he's, he's not trying to get in our tail at all. I mean, otherwise, like if he were, he'd probably keep going round. Although with this, with this turn, this first turn, he wouldn't have changed direction. He would have kept going around. Yeah, th this is a, an AI refused to fight. And then, of course, we lost sight of him and had to use the F5 view. Continue to chase him. He's doing a good job at evading until then when he gets taken out. Yeah, he was, he was trying to go land by the looks of it. So that was the first in this series AI refuse to fight. Right. Let's look at the scoreboard and, you know, fill it in. Okay, so here we are in the scoreboard. We we're up against the AV-8B Harrier in the SU-27-33. There were no Fox 1s or Fox 3s. The Fox 2 round, well, we won, rather, obviously. And the guns round, our first ever AI refuse to fight. So that's just a, an X an X there, so we've only added one victory, which takes our win rate in the SU-27 up to 58.33%. Alright folks, that does it for DCS for today, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.